Oh, it's going now again. Go. Hey everyone, Kate Boren, Fiona Pierman, joining you for this week's Facebook Live, where we're talking about the mindset of confidence. Yes, I think all the time we hear people looking at others and saying, oh, if only I could be like that, if only I could have that confidence, as though it's something that people either have or they don't have. And what we've learned, and we've certainly seen with many clients, is confidence is something we all have within us. It's just a matter of being connected to that and having it available to us when we need it. Yeah, I think um, this piece around when we're prepping for this conversation, this concept that actually confidence is a choice. In any moment, I can choose, you know, to to be small and to contract uh, and to, you know, do all the things counter to our acts of confidence conversation. So to not speak up, to not ask for help, to not ask for what you want, all of those sorts of things. Or you can really lean in. Um, and, you know, take these small acts of confidence or make different choices. It's almost like um, there's the confident choice and there's the not confident choice. And in every moment, we get an opportunity um, to, to step in and lean into that way of being really um, in the world. Yeah, I think this speaks exactly to one of the kind of cornerstones of our work, which is the act of confidence comes before the feeling of confidence, which is really a philosophy, if you like. It's an approach that you can actually take all the time. And as you say, it is a choice and we're maybe not conscious that it's a choice. If we've got this default idea that I've either got confidence or I haven't, then we are more likely to think, well, that's just not for me and I'm not going to go there and I'm not going to do that thing. We may not be even aware that we're playing small and we're contracting, but that's actually what's happening. So the more we can start to examine and think about all of the things that are available to us and whether we are taking that small act of confidence and trying something that perhaps feels a little bit uncomfortable, and as we do that, we expand our mindset and we start to understand and have the experience that actually this confidence thing is not something that's fixed it's not something that I have or I don't have it's something I am working on and I'm making choices about all the time yeah I think this language like I'm not confident we look at other people and they've got it and I don't have it um, versus actually it's something that um, is is growing all the time you know our work you know, co-creating the Acts of Confidence program with clients, you know, revealed to us that actually um, it's not that I need to go and find or build confidence. All of us have confidence within us and we language that as core confidence. Actually, it's that we've got strategies where we give our confidence away. So a lot of our work, um, you know, in the 10 building blocks of core confidence and the Acts of Confidence program is all about how do we reconnect people with and keep them connected with their core confidence so they can use that to go about doing things in career in life yeah as as we think about this what we know is as people take those steps as they do something differently they will have a new experience and one of the things we really love is the impact this has for our clients and for people we work with particularly those people who come to us thinking you know i don't have this it's too hard for me or confidence is something that i'm lacking what we see is people really finding the courage to do things differently and as they do that, things change in life, you know, things smooth out. It doesn't feel as though I'm in a, you know, a constantly um, in a whirlpool of, you know, being pulled in one direction and then another, that I'm at the mercy of everything that's coming at me. Rather, I have agency in any moment. I actually have this within me and therefore I can make choices and I can make decisions and I can do things based on the fact that this is something available to me as opposed to something out of reach. Yeah, I think um, this piece of smoothing out the ride uh, is really valuable. And I think the other piece here is, um, you know, when you have that mindset, this confident mindset, um, it gives you courage. It gives you courage to say yes where previously you might have say, said no. It gives you courage to speak up when perhaps you previously would have, um, you know, stayed silent. And, and it gives you the courage to be more visible in the world where previously you may have wanted to hide or, or um, stay small. So I think this piece around, um, you know, the impact of confidence uh, we know it's life changing. We see it all the time in terms of the results, um, you know, women we work with who, you know, 
you know, as simple as it sounds, um, and it's not a magic pill. I think it's really important um, that we highlight that. There's absolutely, you know, work to be done in terms of strengthening in our connection with core confidence, but absolutely it's a choice. Yes, and I think the, the piece here is that you, the more that we do this, the impact of having confidence is I have more choice and I have more possibility because I've made the decision that I'm going to be open to this, that I'm going to expand my confident mindset, I'm going to be available to things, I will inevitably have more choice and possibility, which that then gives me more opportunities to do things, which I can take a small act of confidence and therefore will reinforce this piece around this is something actually that I'm, I am creating within myself over time. And I think the other piece you get here is a huge amount of resilience. And we see this all the time. It's one of the chapters in the book. It's a very important part that no matter what comes at me, I'm going to be okay. I know I have a confident mindset. I know how to deal with anything. And this is something that we see people time and time again, really, um, it changes their world to be able to do that. You know, that I'm, I'm actually resourced no matter what happens. Yeah, and I think um, the stacking impact, right, of what happens when, um, you know, we start small, we take small acts of confidence, um, the act of confidence comes for the feeling, small acts create the feeling and the stronger connection with our core confidence. And over time, um, I'm able to say yes to more things, I'm able to speak up, I'm able to be more visible, but most of all, I'm able to go uh, about the world in a really authentic way, achieving what I truly want in life. And that's really, you know, a big part of the work um, and our purpose of the, why we do the work we do. Uh, so thank you for being here uh, today. We hope you've enjoyed uh, today's uh, confidence conversation. If you've liked it, you enjoyed it, or know someone who could benefit from it, please um, share it with your networks. If you've got questions, feel free to reach out or um, pop them in the comments below. Um, and of course, if you'd like to go deeper with your relationship with Core Confidence, visit our website, coreconfidence.com.au.